February 17th, the fans of combat, I don't care if you're an MMA fan, a boxing fan, a bare knuckle boxing fan, you're going to love this event. I'm so excited about it. Bobby Gunn and Roy Jones Jr. are going to do battle for the cruiserweight belt. It's 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 this is something I've really been looking forward to. I am honored to have on the show Bobby Gunn, the bare knuckle boxing champ, cruiserweight champ himself. Bob, how are you doing, my friend? I'm doing really good, really good. And I want to tell you first and foremost. I would only come on your show. You're a top fan, and I think the world of you, and you're a historian of the fight business, and I respect you so much, Dan. Training camp has been fabulous for this fight. I'm still training right now. I'm, I'm winding down now. Um, we'll head up to Wilmington, Delaware, Wednesday. The weigh-in is uh, Thursday, but I think we're going to have a little press conference Wednesday night, me and Roy. The weigh-in will be around 5 o'clock on um, uh, Thursday. I'll get ready to rock and roll Friday. Thank you. First of all, that that means so much to me. I can't tell you. I have to wait till the show's over before I tell you how much it means to hear you say that. Um, it does. Let me ask you this, though. The fight is good. I mean, we're here. We're right down to it. This fight has almost happened multiple times. A lot of people don't understand that. They think Bobby Gunn is only the bare-knuckle boxing champ. Bobby Gunn was also in it, the cruiserweight champ, and you've almost fought Roy a couple times. Yeah, when I had the, the title in, 10 years ago, me and Roy come very close to fight. Negotiations fell through. Three years ago, we come very close. At the last moment, he pulled out. Now the third time's a charm. You know, and, uh, you know, it's, I've been fighting all my life, boxing and pro boxing and bare knuckle boxing all my life. And... I'm fighting one of the greatest fighters to ever live. It's an opportunity of a lifetime. I'm, oh, I'm honored to be in his presence. But I'm here for a reason because I'm still top in my game. You know, my record speaks for itself. I fight the top legends, the Hall of Famers, and I rub apples with the best. But this fight here is more of a legacy for me. It's more than the title that's on the line. Fighting Roy Jones Jr. for me, in my, in my heart, it's a heart desire fight. I always wanted, and I do believe in my heart, I have a shot of knocking him out. Listen, you know what, Bobby, I've got to say that no doubt, Roy Jones Jr. is one of the best fighters of all time. He owned the 90s. This is a man that has four titles in four different weight divisions, a silver medal in the Olympics, and the question for me is, you know, listen, Roy's an incredible athlete. He's extremely fast. He's a a student of boxing, he's one of the best boxers, but he's going in there against a guy in Bobby Gunn that is, you know, I mean, listen, you, let's be honest about this. Like you said, you've been doing this your whole life. So this isn't, you're not just this bare knuckle boxing guy. You're a guy that is a student of the game. You are an elite athlete in your prime, I might add, and you are extremely hungry for this fight. And I'm sure Roy is as well. I mean, he has to be. Now, let, let, for the fans out there, what can they expect? Because I know the style of fight that you're going to bring to the table, and I think I know what Roy's going to bring. And I'm, I'm curious what you think, how this fight unfolds. Um, is, is there any special thing that you've trained for? To be honest with you, I trained for the best Roy Jones Jr., they could possibly be. You can't go by age. Look at the old fighters like Archie Moore, the Mongoose. Yeah. Fight the top fighter in the world who is close to 50 years old. That don't mean nothing. A gunslinger is always dangerous. And Roy Jones is a gunslinger. He's not a Hollywood gunslinger. See, there's a lot of Hollywood gunslingers out there with, with fake bullets. But Roy's like me. He's a real gunslinger. And I'm preparing for a Roy Jones that's going to come out blazing. He's got something to prove. And to be honest with you, we're both, see, people criticize for him and say, oh, he lost, lost that. But look who he lost to, world championship top yeah. men. Yeah. He's not losing, he's not a washed up fighter, a boxer, a washed up MMA fighter, look at a name, a name for himself. He's still the lead, the guy, probably beat 90% of the top fighters in the world. Oh, he's yeah. still there. To have the opportunity to fight Roy Jones, and for me, and from where I come from, 
even for the sport of bare knuckle boxing, it's it's a, it's amazing because I'm the poster boy for bare knuckle boxing. You know, and God gave me that opportunity. I'm very grateful for it. But to, to bring a, a, a name like Roy Jones Jr. and bring it to my sport, because when you look at me, people look at bare knuckle boxing too. Yeah. And it just it exposes it to the world what we're doing with BKF. And big things are going to happen, Dan. This is going to be a real good year for us. Well, you, you got right where I was going, Bobby, and that is with BKF and bare knuckle boxing. And listen, there's a lot of people out there, and they'll, they, they're, you always have the haters. You always have the haters. Now, you have stepped – listen, you're fighting one of the best of all time. This isn't a guy that was just a champion. This is a man that's considered one of the best of all time in the sport of boxing. So, there's – I mean, there, you're going to – everybody has to shut up and respect. So, this is huge. But, again, you brought up the point of, of BKF and bare-knuckle boxing. I want to say myself – BKF, this is an organization that I, I have to say, I, as I got to know the guys behind the scenes, I was extremely impressed with the dedication to the sport and, and the hard work. I mean, you're <laughs> extremely hard work. So much has been done in such a short amount of time. And listen, it's put on the shoulders of the big shoulders of Bobby Gunn. How do you feel about that, Bobby? What do you see with Bare Knuckle? Because I see it as mainstream. This is the most exciting thing for me in combat sports. I'm, I'm tickled to that. I'll be honest with you. August the 5th, 2011, we did the first ever sanctioned bare knuckle fight. Bare knuckles. No, no bandages and hand wraps. And that, when we done that, that brought a lot of clowns out of the closet. You know, a lot of self-proclaimed guys that say they're in bare knuckle boxing. But the truth is, I want to explain something. We are bare knuckle boxing, bare fist fighting. Yep. No hand wraps or bandages. Yep. If we did, we could have went that route with bandages. We could have called the BKB, but that would be self. That'd be false advertisement. Yeah. We wouldn't really be living to the, the purest form of combat sport. We took the hard road to get where we are, and we're about what's it about? Very close. Is it's going to explode? I can't even tell you how big it's going to get. The biggest people in combat business is behind us right now. We've got a great team. We want real top athletes. We're not looking, you know, to bring out turn out fighters and offer them four or five or eight thousand, ten thousands. We want fighters to make lots of money in the oldest form of combat through bare knuckle boxing and on the mainstream, on TV. Exactly. Yet, there's a lot of so-called little hater groups out there, but you don't miss up no foul. I've been fighting all my life. And haters, their opinions is zero. Because yeah. that's the, the price tag on it. Nothing. It, it means nothing. None of those guys that really pass opinion don't even know what a, a, a fight is. They can't spell fight, never mind fight. And unfortunately, all their hatred, all they done for me is that they made me more famous. <laughs> They still got me wrong. Everybody knows me. And they never done me bad. They actually done me good. And fair play to them. Honestly, truly. God love them. You know what it is, my pal? Very, a lot, of, a lot of people talk about it, but very few people can do it. And again, I can't explain to you. Bare knuckle boxing means the naked hand, bare fist. That's, that's simple. Well, we got a great team behind us, you know, and that's what it means. I mean, look at a dictionary. It, it, it tells you. No gloves are bandages. Well, listen, Bobby, if, if I tell you I'm going to serve you a cheeseburger and I give you uh, a hot dog, it, 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 you know, it's kind of a little different. And listen, if you're, it's, how could you say bare knuckle if your knuckles aren't bare? I mean, it's just, it's very simple. It would be like calling MMA boxing, and it's such a huge difference. Now, man, let's get right down to the meat and potatoes because. This is such. I'm so excited about it, and I know I, I've got to. I've got to let you go. I know you're short of time. You're training constantly. Oh, well, it's getting late. It's a great show. Well, to me. Thank you. Thank you so much, Bobby. But you also have something that is unique on this card, and that is a father-son 
and their pride, or the, the father of their pride, fighting on the same card. That's incredible. How does that make you feel? You know, it's amazing. You know, um, uh, for my culture, my, my people, my race of people, uh, the gypsies and travelers, it's the first time in history that a father and son fought the same night. Right now, my boy's got an opponent schedule. He's had two opponents already pulled out. So we got him a last minute replacement. He's excited. And plus, I got my, my little cousin, Henry Stewart, yeah. a very good cruiserweight prospect, 2 and old. A lot of big things are happening. Dan, I want to thank you for your intelligence and your, your history in the game. We have deep conversations, and for anybody to ever doubt what you th think in your show, I believe your show man is going to go big time. You truly are a top-class person, honestly, truly. Yeah. Bobby, I can't, I mean, listen, the, the, again, I, I can only thank you off camera. <laughs> It's, it's too much. I feel too much about it because it means so much to me to hear something like that. Because I do this, and you know I do this, for the love of the sport. And I do it for the fighters, and I want to support. I want the fans to be able to enjoy this. This is historical. This is a hus historical fight. Bobby Gunn, Roy Jones Jr., pay-per-view, February 17th. Listen, guys, if you're a fan of combat, I don't care if it's MMA, I don't care what form of combat or what discipline, this is something you've got to order. You've got to check this out. If you miss it, you're missing out, and you're not a true fan, in my opinion. This is where, this is the real deal. Um, Bobby, is there anyone you'd like to say hi to? Any Anything you'd like to say to Roy? Anything at all? This is your floor. It's your show. I, I just want to give a shout-out to Dave Feldman. Uh, the best bare knuckle boxing promoter in the world, a class, a man's promoter over 300 professional shows. What a job he's done in this. Scott Burke, Joe Curcio, Chris Sella, Big Joe Mack, Pete Edward Simpson, Drew Watson, A. Roth, and our team attorney, George Copelanius. Man, what a team we got. And I want to, I just want to say more than anything. February the 17th is going to be an extraordinary night with two warriors veteran fighters go laid on the line his name and my name and i think a lot of my name i'm going to fight my heart out i know he is too and i just hope that a good lord blesses both of us we both go back to our families healthy and safe but i would say this to you here tonight i do believe in my heart everything comes for a reason and i believe this is my time and i'm going to show everything i had in my heart if i listen i win big or I go out with my shield big, but I'm a man, and I fight the best in the world. I'm not interested in fighting nobodies. I'm not interested in fighting people that want to call my name or to make a name for themselves. Where does that get me? I, I don't need that. That was good maybe 15 years ago, but now where I'm at, I don't need that. All I want to do is make the sport of bare knuckle boxing for the world to know how good a sport it is, and also for good fighters out there to have a break. And that's what I do. I'm paving the road for them. That's what it's about, man. Instead of knocking everybody down, why not support each other and make things happen? That's right. You support the sport. You make a future for the up-and-comers. And you cement a legacy for a man like Bobby Gunn, who I can say personally, this is a man of class. This is a family man. There's no holes in this man's character. Thank you. And on February 17th, you're going to find out there's not any holes in his game. Make sure you check this out. Do not miss it. Bobby, thank you so much, my friend. I was It's an honor for me, and I truly mean that. I'm going to do everything I can to be there on February 17th to bring this to the fans. You know you're a fan favorite. I know Kate Brenton, 1973, on Twitter. Just, it kills it. He kills it. So hats off to him. Again, he is. Bobby, my hats off. Thank you so much, sir. Listen, last one here. Irene, good night to Roy Jones. Good night, Roy Jones. Good night, Roy Jones. You get knocked out, pal. See you 17th, Roy. Bam! For Fight TV, Modern Pugilist Entertainment. For Bobby Gunn, Roy Jones Jr., February 17th, the BKF. Everybody. Fans of combat, it's happening. Don't miss it.